Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin. We're gonna unbox a PC from CyberPower today. This is a gaming PC that costs $720 as you see it. It's got an i5 a KB Lake processor and an RX 480 GPU. Uh, this one came in free of charge through the Amazon Vine program, but I thought you all would find it interesting. So we'll be uh, reviewing this a little bit later in the week because I love affordable stuff. And this one uh, feels to me that it might be hard to build on your own for the same price. So part of what I would love for you all to do uh, ahead of that review is maybe go out to PC Part Builder and use your expertise and maybe uh, see if we could build one for around this price. I think you're going to have a hard time uh, building a PC with all this stuff in it. Um, it's got, let me give you the specs here. It's got um, 8 gigs of RAM, a 1 terabyte 7200 RPM drive. It's got uh, DVD RW optical drive, 802.11 AC. It also has a gaming keyboard and mouse. I don't know what the specs are on that, but I will uh, be doing a full review on my main channel at lon.tv. So here is... Uh, the gaming mouse here. This is a CyberPower branded mouse. Let me get this up closer to the camera so you can see what's inside of it here. And we'll pop it open. It looks pretty nice. So that's the mouse. It kind of reminds me a little bit of some of the Corsair mice, but it doesn't feel as high quality. So it is kind of a plasticky kind of thing, but it's got a lot of buttons on it, so that's something. So it doesn't feel great, but I will put it through its paces as we go through. Uh, another thing that was interesting is that there are actual optical discs that come with the PCs. We got a Windows 10 disc here. Uh, looks like you got some drivers for the video card, as well as it looks like motherboard drivers for the motherboard. So nice that you get some drivers in the box these days. And it also came with a TP-Link wireless dongle for a wireless AC. So we got that in the box. And let's take a look at the multimedia gaming keyboard now. So let's open that up real quick. We'll see what's inside of it. I would doubt this has mechanical switches, but you... Yeah, no mechanical switches. It is kind of a membrane keyboard, but it does, let's see, I don't see any macros on here either. Um, so no macro keys, but it's kind of a basic keyboard. So yeah, it's, it looks like a gaming keyboard, but if you are looking for a uh, you know, mechanical switch keyboard, this is not your keyboard. But again, you're getting the keyboard and the mouse and the computer for 720 bucks. So let's pull this thing out of the box here, and hopefully I don't break anything in the process. And let's get it undone here. All right, so we got everything out of the box now and unwrapped. And uh, what I love is computers that make you take them apart before you use them, which actually is not a bad thing because I often say that if you are uh, interested in PC gaming, the best thing you can do is build your own PC. And the best way to do that is to at least have to take something apart every once in a while. So what they've done is they've put in some, uh, some of this foam packing filler in here. It's all encased in this uh, bag here, but I guess what they do is they kind of blow it in and it conforms around the card here because everything is installed already. So uh, what we've got is that Radeon card there. I'll pull, pull it up closer to the camera here so you can get a look at it. It's actually ni neatly laid out here in the case. So you've got the uh, Radeon uh, GPU. Looks like there's only a single X16 uh, PCI slot, so you won't be doing any SLI, but this is like a standard case. You can put any motherboard in there. Uh, we got the RAM here, two four gig modules in a uh, uh, dual channel configuration. You got the optical drive and the terabyte hard drive there. Again, very easy here to add more later. So let's take a look now at the front of the case. We've got two USB 3.0 ports here, the power switch, uh, your audio in and out, and it looks like a reset button right there. Uh, your optical drive is right on the front here, of course. Really looks pretty cool. It's got a lot of fans, two here and one in the back. And then of course, you've got your uh, power supply fan inside the power supply that will shoot out the bottom, it looks like. It looks like it's got some filters on that power supply fan on the bottom. Uh, this side, of course, is blank. Then on the back here, you've got two USB 2.0 ports, gigabit Ethernet. You've got PS2 keyboard and mouse connectors if you want to go old school. You do have DVI and HDMI out, but that's for the Intel videos. You'll want to connect up to the uh, AMD graphics card that's right over here. Uh, you've got your audio connectors over here as well. Uh, USB 3.0 ports here as well as here. The Type-C here is not Thunderbolt. Uh, just regular USB type C. All right, so I'm gonna put this thing back together and start my evaluation of it. And I would love to see uh, from you all in the next couple of days, uh, what kind of specifications you can build similar to this one. So I'll put the full specs in the video description. Uh, head over to PC Part Builder, or one of your favorite component sites and see what you can build out for around the same price. I'm just curious if we can uh, get close to this if we were to build it ourselves, or if maybe this is one example where uh, getting a pre-built PC might be a better value. So we'll see you soon in a couple of days with a review you on this one and this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month.
Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.